Okay, so I went and I got more money, and we're gonna buy more tickets. Yay! Okay, touch the screen to begin. All right, I could do a 15-round trip right now because I have 20 pounds, so I'm gonna do that. So that way we don't have to keep. There we go. Good. Okay. Now, we need to go back to Loch Loman, I think. Because we have the piece of the bagpipe now. That should help us out. Okay, bagpipe is over here. Let's go. Bagpipe here. Hello. Okay, and you? There. All right, it's ready to play. Cool. Oh. Yeah, I needed this, right? Okay, what am I doing? Um. Alright. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Wait, is that. There's a code here, isn't there? There's gotta be. There's gotta be a code here, and I don't know what it is. Um. Uh, hmm. What happens when I. Oh. Then what? Oh, it plays the- okay. Alright, so... What do I need to play? What do I need- WHAT DO YOU NEED TO PLAY? Still have to do that. Oh yeah, that's right. You'll need the correct order for the lock. Search around see if you can find any clues. Yeah, I know that. Correct order for the lock. Uh, okay. Doesn't help. What about the correct code for the... It doesn't help. I need a solution. Oh. Enter the date of the Declaration of Aberath. 41320. Okay. You know what? Sorry, bagpipe. I got things to do. That might have been cheating, I guess, but I mean, I was kind of. Oh, no! I used up a ticket. Doggone, I'm an idiot. Ah! That was a misclick on my part. Oh, that's like, what? 10 pounds down the drain. Alright. You. Ooh, hello. Mine. I don't know what you are, but I found you again. Okay. 41320. What the heck? Dude! Awesome. Phone call. Nancy, come see me. I've put a card in your safe. Your password is your room number times the price of a serving of haggis at the deli outside the hotel. Why? Why not? Hello again. Another message. Nancy, I made it through all right and I'm back home. The situation is worse than I feared. If you're staying, be careful and keep your head down, Mora. Oh, or Mira, Mira, Mora, something. Okay, what do I want to do here? Let's let's start at the beginning. The Jabberwocky. I knew that was important. What's the Jabberwocky? I don't know.
Huh. No active connection. Well, I've got clips. Would clips do it? Oh, password. I can't enter the password. I can't use enhance, and I can't do that. I need their password. Track down a copy of the Jabberwocky poem. Okay, so that's my next thing I gotta do, apparently. Alright. Whoa. Turned into a grid on their wardrobe, too. No wonder I couldn't search it. I'm hearing a knocking. I think someone's hammering outside my house, but I'm not sure. Either way, it's making me nervous. Okay. So my room number and... Minus the price of haggis. Oh, nope. Alright. I forgot what my room number is. Is it 172? 177? 272? I don't remember. Uh, what floor am I on? Am I on... I'm on the seventh floor. I couldn't remember what floor I'm on. I'm an idiot. All right, so my room number is 272. 272. All right. And the haggis. Is five pounds. So... 267. Alright. So. What? He left it in my. Oh. I get it. I think. Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm an idiot. Eh. Alright, so two... Sixty... Oh no, two seventy-two. So it's seven two... two so two... Seven two two. No. I don't want to go there. I want to go in the closet. My luggage! Alec must have had it delivered. Oh. Oh, nice. Wait a second. Mom's stuff is missing. Did Alec take it? Maybe, but I got a little shiny thing. We're about to find out. You. What did you and say was the code to get in here again? I know what it is. Shut up and let me put it in, will ya? Um... No? It's four digits, so it'd be this. No? Okay, I was it was 727, so maybe it's 732? Maybe it was at it? No? No. Dog gun it. Uh is it gonna tell me the thing again? I need I need to save Oh Times the price of haggis. Okay, alright, alright, I'm an idiot. Okay, so let me work my handy dandy little calculator here. And we'll see what we come up with. So my room number is 727. Multiply that by 5 and we come up with... Wait, I think I hit the wrong button. 7? Oh, I hit the divide. Wow, I'm an idiot. Times 5 equals 3635. Got it. Glacus Lodge Elevator Service. 
as if I'm going to need to go to Gla Glacus Lodge, I guess. Let me look in my bag again. Anything else here that I need to see? No. Okay, I guess I'm going to go talk to... I guess I got to go talk to Ewan now, right? I'm guessing. What's that? Whoa. That is not normal. I need to take a closer look at her room. She took a picture of me. Hmm. Closer look at her room. How do I get a closer look at her room? Find a way to cross the courtyard over to Bridget's room. What? I need to find a way across the courtyard. Can I shoot the arrow? Hmm. No. Okay. <laughs> that was a, a shot in the dark, but... Uh... Alright. She was taking pictures of me. Not normal. Not normal. I need to use the key card Ewan gave me to activate this panel. Okay. That's new. It must be part of Cathedral security. Okay. Let's see where it takes me. Whoa. Ah, oh, Nancy, what's up? Pretty impressive, huh? Are you my cathedral contact? My code name is Yun. And before you ask, no, I did not choose it. Would I have chosen something better? Shadow, blizzard, or some better word that doesn't also sound like a name you'd give a horse? Huh. Okay. Um... Let's see if I'm right. Is Cathedral part of MI5? Is Cathedral a part of MI5? It is, and yet it is not. I understand. And yet you don't. I love duplicity. And yet... You hate it. There's my girl. I like your style. But... No, I genuinely do. Alright, Alec Fell. Can you look into Alec Fell for me? Aye. Okay... Uh, yeah, Bridget seems a little suspicious now, buddy. Do you have anything that could help me keep an eye on Bridget? Well, not as such. Unless... You're not afraid of heights now, are you? Check this out. Find a bow, and you can use this to zip across the courtyard. It's not safe, but it is fun. Zipline! Yes! Mine! We got it! Okay, awesome. Uh, I want to keep talking to you. You got a lot of info, apparently. Why was the attack centered on Glasgow? We wondered that as well. It took us too long. We had that special vanity that made us think our lives were more important than anyone else's. And that blinded us to the obvious. It was Glasgow because someone here wanted to play a risky game. When Revenant sees someone they think could be pointed in a direction they find advantageous, they drop a trail of breadcrumbs. Hmm. Uh, let's find out what you do here. What exactly do you do here? In the intelligence game, the dumb ones get manipulated, and the clever ones get buried. And the particularly clever ones? Well, they win, of course. But that's most likely not you. No offense, it's not me either. Hmm. How about Bridget? Is there anything you could tell me about Bridget? That girl upstairs. I ran her background on a hunch. And? Nothing. Try not to let her become collateral damage. She seems sweet. Yeah, uh, did, did you... Did I mention that she was taking pictures of me from across the terrace, I guess I'll call it? Uh, creepy messages. How about we try that? The creepy messages I'm getting on my phone. Who do you think is sending them? I've been trying to track the source of the message. Grats await the mysterious stranger who coded that monstrosity. Thanks. Boy, there's a lot of questions I can ask you here. There's a whole heck of a lot. I'm going to ask you every single one of them just because, you know, you seem to be my source of information. And right now, you're the only person that I trust. Do you know who Kate Drew was? Aye, we all do. I know she's your mom. You can call her that. So she really wasn't a reporter? 
She was, and was quite good. But she was also one of ours. A spy? Aye. What or who was she spying on? Figured you'd want to know. I gave you basic clearance on the archives. There is a station set up for you along the wall. Awesome! So apparently, I'm now part of Cathedral. I'm an MI5 agent. Nice. Okay, uh... How did my mom stop the attack? How did my mom stop the attack? Your mother isolated the man who was orchestrating the attack. And of course he knew nothing, and had nothing, that could lead back to Revenant. All he could say was whatever he needed had a way of appearing. And the same person never visited him twice. No one knew what they were bringing him, or why. It was perfectly, and alarmingly, decentralized. Alright, so they had a puppet to be able to do their own work, okay. So what exactly does Revenant want? Back in the days of mud huts and the like, some years the harvests would be light. Sometimes, when that happened, two kings would meet and plan a war to thin their flocks. Then, no one would ever know of their failures. That is what Revenant wants. They don't want to take over the world. They want to keep it. Okay, I kind of get what you're talking about. But not really. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you my contact? In order to do my job, I have to have top information clearance. But I'm not an agent per se. Civilian liaison work often falls to me. If you're asking what that means, you may not like the answer. May not? Absolutely won't. You're not considered a player. You're considered an asset. You're more or less on your own. You get to chat with me, and that's it. Gotcha. Uh... Are yeah. you the one who sent me the message to come to Scotland? No. Do you know who did? Nope. Do you know why? Yes, in fact I do. Someone thinks you have special insight into the secrets that were lost with Kate Drew. I don't. Well, perhaps you do. How about you get caught up on the basics first before making up your mind? Okay. We got two more things to ask you. Who is Revenant? We do not know exactly. That's just what we're calling him. I'm seeing a pattern. That pattern is called chaos. Simply put, they're the bad guys. Less simply put? In this game of cat and mouse, we thought we were the cat. But you're the mouse. We're the mouse. They're at the trap. Ooh. So the roles are reversed. Not good. What is your role with Cathedral? I'm the watcher in the wires. I protect the status quo. And, for the time being, you. Uh, okay. What do you mean by protect the status quo? Society rides on a rail, like a trolley. The rails are solid and modest and predictable. Those are your disc types. They get married, they have some kids, buy a house they can't afford. And never again are they unpredictable. Or interesting. Or alive, even. But the catenary line, the third rail, that's what drives the world forward. People that have a charge running through them, they move the world forward. Or they try to destroy it. I make sure that won't happen. Gotcha. Did I mention I like your shirt? Your shirt's awesome. I want a shirt like that. I'll let you go. Goodbye. Dude, you are amazing. Okay, so you had some stuff set up for me. Where exactly was this stuff set up? Oh. Okay. Um. I could go this way. Wow. Is this the center core? Oh. Look at that. I could turn it hotter or colder. But I don't want to do that right now. So that might be something important. I'll bet you. Oh, am I going to have to come in and I'm going to have to overheat the core at some point? It's like, whoops, sorry. Oh, looky here. Look at this. So I have a feeling this is what this is going to be about. Very interesting. Okay, but I don't think we're using that yet. That's for a later time. All right, so at least I'm at least getting familiar with what's, with what's around me. That's what I kind of wanted to do. Okay, he said he had. Oh, here we go. Is this my office? 
Cool. Spy gear. Oh, yeah. Spy gear. It's locked. It is locked. Am I allowed to unlock this? System offline. Does that mean I did it? Do I get to... It's locked. Uh-oh. I wanna... I wanna... Okay. No. Okay. I'm not allowed. I get it. Ooh. Hello. Are you my thing? Yep. Nancy, this is your personal portal into the Cathedral Archives. We can't release all the information, but this should get you through the basics. Okay. Kate Drew, deceased, Project Colony. Okay, there's Colony again. Challenge code. Okay, um, wasn't there like a thing that came through where they had CMYK0110? Okay. Known associates, Maura Chisenholm, Carson Drew, and Nancy Drew. Uh, Lark. Okay, so she was known as Lark. Carson was Condor, and we were known as Kestrel, apparently. Lark is certified and requires no looking after. Harrier requested Condor be allowed restricted clearance, but brief, briefed only as necessary. And that Kestra was granted no clearance and was not to be briefed. Okay. So, we weren't supposed to know anything. Right. That's for entering passwords. Okay, right, we got a lot of stuff to look through here. <gasps> I see something that's going to be important, but we'll get to that in a minute. You. Colony formula. The formula has been lost following the chaos of the colony event. Harry was instructed to intercept the final formula if possible. It is not known if this formula was in fact preserved. A number of scientists were constricted by Revenant. Oh, okay, lovely. Only two have been have not been properly debriefed following the event. Only one has been found dead. Oh, one has since been found dead of seemingly natural causes. The other vanished without a trace shortly after or before Harrier's death, which was Kate, right? Yeah, Kate was Harrier. Uh, all involved scientists were eligible for placement in secure relocation. If the remaining biologist involved in the creation of the formula was placed in relocation, he may currently be a target. Well, that's not good for him. Okay, let's, uh, go to this. Non-standard hire practice Kate Troop. Kate Drew first appeared on the Cathedral Radar following a series of articles she wrote for the Glasgow Standard. Her ability to cut through the high volumes of information quickly became apparent as her career progressed. At this point, she was contacted by her agents. Kate was brought on board after only one step into what was generally a multi-step process when she was given a test subject specifically trained by Cathedral to interview. As far as the applicant was concerned, this interview is meant to test the ability of the dif uh, different the ability to differentiate between stated fact, stated assumption, and stated disinformation. Before the interview progressed beyond the control portion, Kate had discovered the hidden cameras and microphone and the true purpose of the interview, and she was hired on the spot. Wow, our mom's good. It's recommended that Kate eventually move into field work, although her primary position with Cathedral will be as an analyst. Kate's ability to see patterns in large data sets paired with her intuition make her an ideal asset. Her unique interaction style may make her a wild card in the field, but more often than not, her blunt approach will give her direct access to difficult subjects. Alright, let's look at... Is that more? Oh, there's a lot of people here. We're going to have to look at these in just a minute. Uh, you. Colony Operation. Colony Operation remains one of the more baffling foiled terrorist attacks, attacks in recent times. Details of the attack are so bizarre that it, many believe Cathedral are sitting on a large cache of information about the failed attack. To our dismay, this may not be the case, or this is not the case. All colony details have been released to the public and are as follows. High level, biological attack intended to weaken the city. The attack was biological in nature, intended to be not lethal. Non-lethal biological attack. How do you go around doing that? Uh... Okay. Uh, aim of the attack appears to be political in nature, although little is known beyond this point. Social control interpretation of the attack. Okay, all right. All right, and mechanism. All right, so this is all the stuff. Viral agent must also include an off switch and to assure cured immunity will not develop, rendering the formula useless in other instances. So you can actually become immune to it? That's interesting. Nothing is known about Kate's last days before the car crash. Oh. Following her return trip to Scotland, she quickly went off grid to pursue a set of leads that remain undefined. It's believed she was instrumental in running the colony operation offline. 
There's the picture. All right, now I want to look at these things. What do we got? Ned Dickerson. Hey, I've got that in uh, my... Uh Oh, he's our boyfriend. Okay, Nendicasin civilian, internal name Robin, known aliases him. <laughs> I like that at the end. Him. Uh known associates us, Swift, Magpie, and our father, Condor. Uh Kestrel's boyfriend for many years. Robin's loyalty and honesty make him an unlikely target for any individuals attempting to influence Kestrel. Right. This one. What we got? Joe Hardy. We don't know anything. Operative is known to this and other intelligence agencies, trusted but not briefed, extremely proficient tactician. Okay, so we don't get to know much about him. What about this? Bess Marvin. Oh, this is Magpie. Okay. Uh, Swift's cousin. Trusted confidant, lacks judgment, but displays above average intuition, easily manipulated, and but her candid nature makes her an unlikely target for any individuals attempting to influence Kestrel. So she is Swift's cousin. Who's Swift? We haven't found out who Swift is yet. Uh, I guess we'll look at Mora. Mora Chisenholm, or McRae. Uh, international name, internal name is Lark. Known associates, Nancy Drew, Carson Drew. Dishonorably discharged. Oh. Details of discharge remain sealed. Records pertaining to her whereabouts are not to be requested or distributed. She was dishonorable. Discharged? Okay. Is this us? Oh, that's Kate Drew. Uh, where's the other one? There was another one here. Here it is. Frank Hardy. Strong connection to Kestrel. Strong connection? In what way? I don't have a clue who this person is. Uh, oh, here's one we haven't done. Georgia Fane. Okay, this is Swift. Magpie's cousin. Trusted confidant. Shows strong mechanical and engineering abilities and is watch list by a number of civilian organizations following her innovative work at the Jovic Center for Advanced Mechanical Study. Okay. Why does she look familiar? I don't know. Okay, uh, this thing, oh, no, this thing piqued my interest, because if you look at these different signs, if we go into the Queen Mary book, there's all these. So there's a code, right? I almost really want to try working on this. Okay. Hold on, we're going to step aside, we're probably going to be in the next episode, I'm going to try working out this puzzle.